everybody hope you're having a good weekend uh hope everybody's staying safe with the coronavirus and everything going on and i know everybody's you know pretty much locked at home and and or just the essential people are going to work so huge shout out to those in the medical field i know my wife's an rn right now she's been working like crazy and she's not dealing with uh you know coronavirus patients or covid 19 however you want to say it but uh she is at a hospital that has a few so uh just big shout out to those guys and you know, hope they, hopefully they stay safe. Hopefully you guys stay safe. Um, as the last video was, we saw the dyno run. Sorry I haven't been able to get to another upload here lately. Um, been at home, not much to do with the truck. Uh, I have some stuff I can do, like an oil change, change of fuel filters. But uh, if you guys follow my Instagram, if you, uh, it's the same name as the, as the YouTube page, OKC underscore six, seven. I uh, found some wheels on Marketplace, you know, sitting in the garage all day with uh, the dog and hanging out, looking at Marketplace, ca came across a, a set of wheels. So, as you guys can see by the thumbnail, I'm swapping out my uh, my 22s for a set of 26 American Force Force uh, Morphs. So, they're 26 by 14, they're on 37 inch uh, Furies, so it's going to be a huge change for the truck. I think it's gonna look awesome. They're a polished wheel. They're not actually black like the ones are now. Uh, I'm trading my wheels plus a little bit of cash on my end for these wheels. It's gonna be a heck of a deal, so I'm pretty excited about that. But hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Um, please like, comment, subscribe. Comment down below what you guys think. I'm sure some of you guys like it. Maybe some of you guys won't, but uh, please just comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Without further ado, here's some clips of the truck. Alright guys, so I'm back in the truck, uh, no wheels. So I drove you know, almost five hours to go be, pick up these wheels. I get there and the dude has some false advertising. Uh, I'm freaking pissed off. I already called Cam already, I, everything diesel kind of vented to him a little bit, man. I got there, this dude's wheels, they, they looked fine. The wheels were fine. A little bit of curb rash, could have been worked on. But the tires were just beat to hell. One of the tires had a, a several chunks missing out of the outer edge of the tire due to the simple fact that he didn't clearance it well enough or he, he was trying to cut it, but it just wasn't going to work um, for the lift kit, I guess you could say. And then instead of having American Force on there, there was a, on, the, on the front lip of the wheel, it said American Force on one spot and at the very bottom it said Duh Drop Shop, like DA Drop Shop. So like didn't even tell me about that. So I'm pretty pissed off. Uh, I wish I had taken pictures. Um, one of the tires that he told me was bad was like, hey, it was just cupping a little bit. No big deal, I could have worked with that, right? I get there, the whole damn belt is blown inside of the tire. So man, I'm flipping, I'm just hot right now. Called the wife, of course she's yelling at me, she's kind of like, are you serious, blah, 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 because I just wasted you know, 10 hours of my day driving there and back, five hours each way. So that's kind of how that went. Um, so. Man, just be just be cautious when you guys are on Facebook Marketplace because I asked all the questions. Um, this dude just withheld information from me, and it, it just pissed me off, man. And uh, I just I, I saw what I needed to. I wanted to get out of there as quick as possible because I know I need, I got like a 350 mile drive back, um, so I needed to get home. But man, that was just some sketchy stuff. So just be careful when you guys are out there on uh, Facebook Marketplace. Obviously. I didn't false advertise anything about my tires or wheels. My, my, my wheels are perfect, immaculate shape. Um, they're four years old. Um, tires are phenomenal. I'm religious about um, rotating, rotating and balancing them. I always take it to my buddy uh, James at Four Wheel Parts. He hooks it up. I document everything when it's done. I keep a, a number in my phone saying, hey, this is uh, this is the mileage it was done at. So, you know, I told him, like, hey, these, these, these uh, tires were freaking rotated 3,000 miles ago, so they're great. They're older, they're a little dry rotted, but nothing crazy. I would have not been able to make it home safely, even if I wanted to do the deal with with him, I would have not been able to make it home safely to get that, to, in my opinion, to get that tire home. And then if I gotta go home, I gotta spend another $600, or even more, on a 37, 13 and a half, 26 Fury Open Country MT. So that's just the tire that had the belt that was busted. 
Now you start looking at the other ones with the chunks missing. The whole new set of tires, you know, I want to guess, I'm going to throw a number out here, like 2,500 bucks. I'm just not sure right now. So it sucks. My poor wife's at home sending me links to tires and wheels that are on eBay, American Forces. Um, and, you know, I, I think she feels bad because I just wasted my whole day. And here I am driving back. So I just left about an hour ago from seeing that guy. I had to cool down a little bit, man. I was steaming. So whole tank of gas or fuel there, whole tank of fuel back. And 10 hours of my day just gone. So once again, I just want to make sure you guys are being safe with uh, Facebook Marketplace. And just know what you're getting, man. And even if you ask all the right questions, there's always that possibility where somebody could just lead you astray. So hopefully this doesn't happen to you. All right, guys. So what a hell of a day. Um, just made it home. I did 780 miles round trip today. So I drove from here to there and back and nothing to show for it. Uh, the guy was hiding a lot, like I said earlier. And... Uh, Kind of pretty much pissed me off so i'll have some pictures here soon that you guys can see of what the ad looked like and then man i really wish i'd have got some pictures of what the tires actually look like um like i said earlier there was a a belt that was broken so one part of the tire was popped and all of the tread was flat it almost looked like he sanded down that part of the tire um and there's no way in heck that would have made it home um safely uh with that truck, you know, how heavy they are, those wheels, and how thin that sidewall is, that thing would have blew out. I almost guarantee it. And then there was a crap ton of chunks missing out of every wheel, um, not wheel, tire, with uh, with where he didn't clear it real well. So um, I have the most awesome wife in the world. She started looking at wheels for me <laughs> while I was driving home. Like, hey, what about these? What about these? Why don't you just get these? These ones, these ones. That was not part of our original agreement, but uh, she, knows how, she knows how pissed off I was and how bad I wanted to get these wheels. Um, by seeing 26s in person, I think I'm gonna bump down to a 24 by 14. 26s, man, they're huge, and there's not much sidewall, and it doesn't give much room for air. You know, say you got a, 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 a crazy railroad track like we have here in Oklahoma, like every day I drive over them, and or potholes in the road, yeah, you know, curbs are every curbs are going to be uh, a hazard no matter what kind of wheel you got if you're running 14 wide. So that's just something that you got to have to look out for and stay sharp on. But other than that, guys, that was that was it for today. Um, sorry, it didn't go as planned. I still have the original wheels on the truck. Um, the wife gave me the green light to go buy a brand new set of wheels and tires rather than the used set. I was trying to save myself some money, but she gave me the, the go ahead to just get you know what I want just get it new that way we know it's not jacked up and I don't have to do this again so yeah um, that was that'll be today's video thanks for watching sorry it wasn't more eventful um, and what you guys were anticipating especially you guys follow me on IG so yeah thanks for watching until I see you guys next time on the next upload you guys have a good one stay safe and stay uh, stay away from other people